Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome back to Hermitcraft. Last time we worked on the area around our base, modernized it a little bit. We also worked on another portal and the pathway out here. Today though guys, we're going to meet up with good times with Scar because we need to do some investigation on the strange object we saw streaking across the sky when we built the sad coral shop, the, uh, the dead coral shop. So let's go ahead and investigate with good times with Scar and we'll investigate what we saw. Scar, we got a delicious cake here in front of our face today. What do you say we eat this cake? That's why I brought my big old fork. Look at the size of this fork, Cub. Look at this. Look at this thing. It's that's, huge. That's a big fork, man. That's a big fork. Yeah, man. I'm excited to eat this cake. But uh, why are we officially here, Cub? Ah, yes. We are officially here because if you remember back when we made the Concorp, the sad coral shop at Concorporation. Mm-hmm. We saw something in the sky. It's oh. it was streaking across the sky in that general direction. In the south... Is that southwest? We're going to say it's southwest. Southwest direction. Yes, the southwest direction. Yes, it was in the air. It was a shiny object with a trail behind it. Mm -hmm. And I was going to go look for it, but that's when you put down the cake and I forgot all about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, there was a big explosion. There was a smoke signal or something that went up. We got to go inve investigate what that was, man. Yes, we do for sure. Now, I want to get back to the cake real quick. Just just really quick. We are going to make a cake factory eventually, correct here? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely need okay. a cake factory 100%. It's the greatest thing ever, man. Look at this. So beautiful. I know. So uh, especially, can we say something nice about Jasper's texture on the cake? Great job. Makes it even more delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, man. I say we fly out there. I say we, we look at scout the area out a little bit and uh, see what we can find. Can we bring the cake? Uh, maybe later. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. All right. I'll bring a cupcake. <laughs> that's easier for the road. Perfect, perfect. So, Cub, I was in the shopping district meeting up with this skull, and he does not believe me that french fries and milkshakes are amazing. Oh, seriously, he is serious, wrong with him? seriously confused. By the way, man, mm -hmm. are you seeing what I'm seeing up here? Wow. This has got to be it. Yeah, this is what we saw in the sky for sure, and that looks like a bit of shiny blocks gold diamonds silver all the riches one could ever dream of oh man, man this thing must have been coming in hot dude this thing must have been flying through the sky man this, this must have been a spaceship of some type coming in doing this much damage to the the ship wow a lot of gold though jeez oh oh, oh it burns so yep, bad yep. Cub. jump in the water jump oh. in the water jeez okay i'm good man jeez, this man. ancient jungle tree like cut it in half when it must have hit the surface here yeah, it was a rough landing for sure, it looks like. Man. Oh, and there's here's part of the hull of the ship in here. Dude. Wow. Look, but dude, look at all this wealth, though. Like, that came oh, out, just... out of the back of this. This must, Yeah, it must have been a spaceship that crashed and, I guess, spewed all their riches. And I guess they got cake here for some reason, too. Whatever this thing it's is. It's like a treasure rocket, man. It's like a treasure rocket just for us. And you know what? All this power that I'm feeling like I'm feeling powerful from all this. Like I'm thinking of things I can buy, things that I can maybe get involved with. Like I have like a, like a good rap scallion vibe coming off this place. I like it. I like it a lot. Actually. Yeah, man. I mean, they're not going to be needing this gold anymore. So I might as well just like, just nab some, you know, Jeez. No, whoever this was is clearly, <laughs> uh, in the giant block in the sky at this point. Look at this cake cup. Look at the cake. This is how we get started with our cake factory. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, they got, Oh, oh, there's a there's a parrot here. There's, oh, dude, ch do you see these? Look at these heads. <laughs> Scar, the journey was long and hard, but we've now made it back to Hermitcraft. Ah, it has been good. I have quite the grudge against Jarvis for sending us into a jungle and not the spawn with the rest of those foolish hermit people or hermit crabs or whatever they are. Yeah, Jarvis, he went he went haywire. He tried to land us successfully. We told him we wanted to land in the jungle, but you know, he the trees messed with his radar system. We got to we got to rebuild him. Better, faster, stronger. Mm -hmm. Got to we got to take him down for now. There we go. Whoops. Broke, broke a block. It's fine. It's fine. But it we're back. Up. That's yeah. the main thing. We're still alive. We are still here. 
Whew. <laughs> It got oh, out. it got out, dude. What ha- This was supposed to be a foolproof cage. No. The fool's got out. Oh, Escaped. man. Oh, he's- he's got- you see him anywhere? Like, get out your binoculars, look on the horizon, I don't see him anywhere. No, and there's also all of our treasure. All of the treasure from season five is scattered around here. Oh, Everything. man. Jeez. We should gather this stuff up, but still, man. Like, uh, where's Captain Jack? He need- Captain, J here he is. All right, he's here. He's here. There or he should is. I say, Mr. President? <laughs> <laughs> so, Jack, we had a task for you to set up Concorp and get going with that. I, has this happened, Cub? Has he got into it? Has he made progress? Yeah, Jack Sparrow. Yeah, we sent him weeks ago here to to do some reconnaissance and set up Concorp, and I think I think he set it up. I think he set it up, but we gotta go and investigate exactly how much progress he's made. Cause I mean, we're expect we've expected to come arrive to the server, fully fully dominated, you know, fully fully in charge. Well, well clearly we're in shatters and pieces at this point. Yeah, not not a great start. At least we got cake though. At least we got cake. That's that's the Sweet one. Sweet Slayer got out too. Ah, oh, Sweet Slayer. Ah, oh, Rip, Rip Sweet Slayer. Yep. Mm. He probably he probably died in the perished. crash. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. So sad. So sad. So sad. Well, I mean, I think we, I think we have to go and investigate this. Uh, uh, supposedly, there's like an island somewhere that the other hermits are on, but um, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's it's kind of crowded right now, so I mean, maybe we have to like you know, vote some people off the island. I don't know. We'll we'll see what we do. We'll see what we do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's let's pick up Captain Jack. We gotta we gotta go and uh, we gotta take back our server scar. Yeah, they have turned it back into hermit crab. It's time to bring a vexcraft back. So it turns out, Scar, we got two shops, apparently. Only two. These are the only mm -hmm. two we own. So far. So far, we should say. There's a problem with them. There's a problem. Yeah, they both sell the same thing. How did Captain this, Jack not anticipate this? This is what happens, Cub, when we put a parrot in charge. Worst idea the Vexes has ever come up with. First worst idea we've ever come up with, by the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Let's let's just go in and let's investigate what these shops are doing. Let, let's see if they actually have sold anything. Let's see what. Okay. All right. Court. This is actually looking pretty good. I have to say. No, Cub. It just seems too happy to me. It is a little bit happy. There's also no sales. So that's that's the main thing. Let's. It's typical. How do we? Get, how, how do you get out of here? This way. Bought okay. all the profits with his cookies or whatever. Yep. Yep. Maybe. Maybe. But this one, this one, Cub, this one looks a little more promising. Oh, it has, look at the pollution. I like what yep. I'm seeing. I like it. That smell makes me happy for some reason. I just, yeah. I feel happier yeah. than I did when I was in there with kind of like happy and sunshine. This is sadness and rain, and I, I like it. I like mm -hmm. it. More like yeah. acid rain. A lot of gray, a lot of dead stuff. Lot, oh, look at the toxins. Look at the toxins in here. The suits, the suits are back. This is the more suit. like it. This is more yeah. like it. Yeah. This is more like it. I noticed there is a bed missing here. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe one of the workers got disgruntled and took it or Just, something. Yeah, he stole it. Any profits here? No profits. No profits. Maybe we should go find Captain Jack. I was expecting to own this entire district by this time, by this point. Look, at there's people down here building shops right now as we speak, too. Oh, this is unacceptable. They don't have licenses. And I mean, look at these. These are all good ideas. We have slime shops, shulker shops, rockets um gambling think of the gambling and then mm -hmm. logs and what do we have two of the same shop two of the two same of the shop. shop yeah yeah one that's super happy and one that's actually not too bad you know with the yeah with the the toxicity yeah yeah i like that that is, i'm gonna call that the happy shop the happy shop yeah yeah cool so uh captain jack has said he has also made an industrial park for us should we go and check that out Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go check that out. I hope it's better than what's going on over here. I'll tell you that right now. Wait a second. Is this it? This I, is it, Cub. This, this is, is right. what he bought. This is, yeah, he said pillars were surrounding the whole area. He didn't tell us they were one wide. And what is... What is, what is this? He spent all the money from Season 5, all of our riches, on a deed to a burnt-out old western house with the chimney what all the <sighs> we sent him here with like half our stuff right the other half crashed into bfr and this guy buys a burnt out house 
Not even, not even, not even a roof on this place. I do appreciate that he says private property, no trespassing. I mean, I, I'm glad he at least acknowledges to keep the other uh, hermit crabs out. But seriously, what, what a guy, what a guy. At least, at least he had the courtesy to bring us cake. I mean, that's the one redeeming thing of this whole, this whole I, area. I smell, I smell right through this cake. It's just a ploy, a ploy to get on our good side for whatever this place is. Yeah, mate. Uh, no, I don't, I don't really think. I think I think he's genuine with this. I think he's genuine. I think the issue is he's a parrot and he did his best. And his best is not not quite up the par. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. We're going to suit this place up. We're going to make it super fancy. We're going to get some industrial farming in here. We're going to get some uh I don't know, some offices, some mm -hmm. uh some fences and towers and all sorts of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Like like most great things, if you want to do something well, you got to do it yourself. You know. I we're think starting at the bottom here, Cub. You know we're what we got to do. You know what we got to do. We got we're gonna keep we're gonna keep him on as CEO and president okay. and chairman. He's gonna be like the fall guy if anything goes wrong. Oh, I like that. Yeah, he's I like that. He, he can't hear us from here. Definitely not. No, here was just scoot yeah, back a little. Scoot back okay. just for sure. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, keep him on as the fall guy. And if yeah. something goes wrong, he takes all the blame. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Jack. Okay. Okay. Good plan. Good plan. Good plan. Good plan. Yep. Okay. I still can't believe he bought a, a burnt out house. Yeah. Yeah. He messed up. He messed up. So, Scar, we decided to keep Captain Jack on as president, CEO, and chairman of Concorp. But we know who the real power is, right? Oh, right. yes, we do. And, you know, this is great. We've got ourselves a little puppet that uh, will take all the blame if any comes our way. I don't see anything like that coming our way, but if it does, you know, we got a puppet. Yeah. He's a parrot. Yeah. Parrot puppet. Yeah. I like parrot puppets. Yeah. Parrot puppet. So anyway, dude, we got, we got some idea of where people are now on the server. We flew around as Vex tend to do flying around the server, taking a look and we've decided the island is too populated. Mm hmm. Yeah. Island is way too overcrowded. Uh, so yeah, we're going to, we're going to take it amongst ourselves, take it, take it upon ourselves rather to do something about it. I think. Yes. Also, may I point out punishment, a punishment for them escaping Vexcraft and trying to start a new here. A little bit of punishment too. Oh yeah. Get them, get them back, get them back for starting, yeah. uh, starting season six and leaving, leaving Vexcraft behind, man. They left it Vexcraft just... behind. Heating up like the party was really just starting over at Vexcraft. It was a paradise. It was a paradise there. I have to say, a paradise for a parrot, and it was amazing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So what are we gonna do here, Scar? What are we gonna do? You want to tell people to plan? Uh, we're gonna build Mount Rushmore. We're gonna put up our heads up here. We're gonna put <laughs> Captain Jack. No, that's not what we're gonna do at all. Um, we're gonna punish people by building the Gauntlet of Vex Doom. Mm hmm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We're going to title have... is a work in progress, by the way. That's a work in progress right there. Yeah, we're gonna have a big giant golden glove here. Mm hmm. And when we put certain items in the golden glove, it's gonna it's gonna spout out some names that uh, are going to be banished from the island forever. We're going to vote people off the island. Vote them off. Jeez yep. Louise. Yep. Punishment. It's gonna Punishment. it's it's gonna make life easier for us too. So that's that's an added benefit. That's an added benefit. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's build this thing, man. Yeah, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the convex gauntlet is unearthed at long, long last, Scar. Yes, this thing, very mysterious, very powerful. Like, we could feel the power. And uh, it took a little time to activate it. Use a little bit of Vex magic to activate it. Actually, we haven't fully activated it yet. Yeah, yeah, we still have to uh, place down some of these infinity stones we found along... In yes. this, this little area here. So I think we're... Do we want to go ahead and activate this thing? See if we can get it, uh, get it to work? Yes. I have I have one stone that I'm very excited about. It's the cake stone. Oh, Most important nice. of all stones. Let me see. Oh, look at it. Look at that cake stone. Beautiful. Beautiful. What other stones do you have over there? I got a mine stone. Put that Ooh. one right in there. There we go. I got the time stone. Very nice. Very nice. I got the space stone going in. And this is the power stone. Feel the power. Oh, I feel the power. Feeling it. Feeling it. I got the reality stone. There we go. And then finally. I like that. That's going to give these uh, hermit crabs a little dose of reality. Yeah. And the ultimate the cake stone. Bam. Bang. There we go. Sweet. Like so it. 
that we got all the stones in, which means the glove is now active. But in order to uh, in order to make it work properly, we have to actually activate the stones. So if we just right click, yep, heard a little chime, chime. There we go. Activate the space stone. There we go. And then I'll activate the reality stone. Perfect. Okay. And then if you want to do the honor scar, this. So what's going to happen here, guys? This glove is going to put out a name from this dropper here. See, there's nothing in there right now, but mysteriously one will appear. And, yeah, basically it's going to banish somebody from this main island. We don't know who, Ooh. but somebody. This is an ancient dropper of ancient uh, origin. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ancient. Absolutely. Very ancient. Absolutely. Even has ancient smell. Okay. Are you ready for me to eat the cake? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Bam! Oh, <gasps> there we go. All right. The snap has occurred. Who is it? Who has Who been banned it? from the island? I'm just too nervous to do it. You're going to have to you're, grab it up, Cub. You want me to grab it? Okay. Yeah, grab it. Oh. Let it go. Let it go. Turns out it's Tango. Oh, it's a nice princess. Oh, I like Tango it. Oh, okay. banned from the island. All right, let me let me let me have a shot at this. Let me have a shot. Oh, it is it is accomplice in crime. It's it's big business Zed. Big business oh, Zed also God. banned from the island. Banished. Okay. Banished. Super hungry. Eating again. Eating again here. <laughs> Oh, all right, all right. Snap of the fingers. Who is Grab it? that up. Mr. Mumbo of the Mr. Jumbo Mr. Mumbo Jumbo. Banned from the island. Banned from the island. Never to return. Never to return. Yep, yep. Another slice of cake. It's Agent 85. Mr. Isco 85. Banished oh. from the island. Ha <laughs> ha. Isco of Is, of is Cold Island. Gone. Gone he is. All right. Gone he is. Yep. Hungry. Really hungry. Here we go. There we go. Next one. Who else is banned? Guess. <laughs> An accomplice Ooh. of Izkol. Rencat himself. Oh, Rencat banned. Rencat banned. I think we might be out of fireworks oh, here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna ban somebody else here. Yeah. All right. Let's he see. Thumb Impulse. Anyway. Impulse. Time's up. Time's mm. up for impulse on the island. Time's run Rip out. <laughs> All yes. right. So who do we have so far? We've got the Ice Princess, Mr. Mm -hmm. Mumbo of the Jumbo Lands, and Ren Cat. Ren Cat. Yeah, and I have uh, Impulse, Iskol85, and ZF. All banned. <laughs> All banned. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We got one more One more piece of cake, Scar. You want to do one more? Maybe? Yeah, I, I, I can always use more cake in my life. There we go. The last one. And... Wells of the night. Oh, the night is darkest just before the dawn of the Vex. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's good. Yes. Okay. So All right. revenge has been had by the Vex here. Very happy about this. Very happy. Very happy. Extremely happy. And uh, yeah, that should that should thin the herd a little bit. Should thin the herd from the island and allow us to take over. I think we should notify those hermits who we have... Uh, who have been uh, banished from the island that they have indeed yes. they can pack up their stuff they got a day to pack up their stuff but then they got to get <laughs> off they got they've been voted off the island yep they got to make they got to make do on you know some of these outer lands all right so let's go make our make our presence known heck no it's wellsco can't have this here anymore scar he has to move wellsco has to has move, to move. No doubt. Packing it up. Packing it up. Ooh, look at all these chests over here. This look at this. Like Walmart. Does this look Big familiar? Does this look familiar? Oh, magic. The Vex magic is back, baby. Oh, Vex magic is yes. back. It never left, but it's also back. So that's good. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> these hermits tried to escape it. They tried to escape the magic. Mm -hmm. But no, we're back. It's fine. Yep. Everything's good. By the way, uh, we have each of us has uh, a couple copies of this book here. Dear Hermit. Uh, you guys mm -hmm. can take a look at what it what it says there, but um, basically it says the Vex are back, and you gotta pack up your stuff, man. It's over. Just move yep. up, move off the island. It's over. <laughs> There's also some severe consequences if not done. I think the quote was severe prankage if they don't pack up and leave. Mm -hmm. Unprecedented, severe. unprecedented scale. So that that's ominous. Unprecedented. That's very that ominous. is when you've got when you go full unprecedented, you know that person means business. In this case magical beings such as us who love cake and or shiny things 
That's true. That's true. Okay, I think Will's message has been delivered. Uh, on to the other hermits, then. All right, let's get them. Well, Scar, we dropped off the Dear Hermit books at all the hermits' bases, and they're now banished from the main island. Yep, they're all out of here. Some may have already complied. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Jack is very excited about the Dear Hermit books. Look at him go. Yeah, he's very excited about it. He's very excited about it. I'm going to go ahead and put the Dear Hermit book up here in the item frame right up there. There we go. Of the old burned out house. <laughs> there we go. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, man. It really frustrates me that he spent half of all of our riches from the previous season on the deed to this land. Seriously. Yeah, to be fair, it is a fair amount of land, though. Like, we got a lot of space to expand in the near future. The gauntlet's looking great over there, by the way. The globe. Yeah. Infinity gauntlet. Yeah. Fantastic. And it was good that it did have the magic infinity gauntlet on the land. I mean, that's a plus right there. Yep. So I can't be too hard on him. And it's good fertile ground for uh, wheat. And you know what wheat makes? Cake. Cake. That's right. Cake. Because we're <laughs> going to have a cake factory. We have to have a cake shop, right? Of course we have to have a cake shop. A bakery shop. Vex Bakery. It's going to be amazing. Absolutely, yeah. And a bunch of other yeah. bunch of other farms and a bunch of other things to help us uh, gain more power, gain more wealth, gain more prestige on the server, for sure. For sure. Top gun powder. We sell only the finest powder. That's right. Yeah. Gun powder. Yep. Rockets. We're going to build an airport. We we'll also have uh airport. It'll be amazing. Planes yeah. coming in there. Yeah. Honestly, like people haven't seen anything yet for what we got planned. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be insane. It's going to be awesome. I know. Look at that parrot. Think of, think of how amazing that parrot is right now. And that'll just open your mind to what we have planned. Ha, ah, so, you know, it was a bit of a, ruck, a rough ride heading out here on the rocket, but I'm glad to be here. Glad to be here. Glad to actually have uh, punished some of the hermits, you know, so that was nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy we have another opportunity to take another server under our control, you know? So, I mean, that's the main thing, you know? We got, we got to build yeah. it all back up, got to take it over again. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, Mr. Cub. It's time to go work on our plans, and once we formulate them, we will meet again for world domination. <laughs> once again, the server is perfectly balanced, as all things should be. It certainly does put a smile on my face to have the convex once again back on Hermitcraft, ready to pillage, ready to plunder, ready to prank anybody who dares challenge our authority. Ladies and gentlemen, be prepared for a season unlike any other, because the Convex are back. With that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, and even if you didn't like it, leave a like anyway, because the Convex said so. For now, that'll be it for me today. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Cub. Goodbye. <laughs>